Organising Tasks. In this lesson, we're going to discover how to organise tasks that make them easy to manage in Project 2013 and as work commences on your project. It helps if you think of your list of tasks as an outline. In an outline for a report, for example, you have an organisational structure that breaks larger sections of the report down into smaller sections until you've listed everything you want to include. The summary task is the captain of the ship, so to speak. It is a task that all of your other tasks will fall under. Just like its name, it summarises all the tasks that will be done. More often than not, it is also the title of the project and all other tasks will be born from it. A summary task does not have any work associated to it. To create a summary task, click to select a cell in the task name column. Typically, this will be the very first cell under the task name, since summary tasks are above other tasks. If you already have a task listed first and want to insert a summary task above it, that's okay too. Just click to select the task that you want to place below the summary task. Now go to the task tab and click on the summary button. As you can see, project 2013 inserts a summary task. Click inside the cell to name the summary task. Summary tasks have the little triangle to the left of them, as shown here. This arrow allows you to collapse the outline so you only see the summary task and not all the other tasks. Below the summary task, you have your first parent task. Next will come subtasks. Don't worry if you are lost as to how to do this. You can indent and outdent tasks to organise parent tasks and subtasks. As you can see, when we created our summary task, it indented the create outline text, but not the other two that came below it. However, all these tasks are all parent tasks within our project, and we want them to be included under the summary task. What we need to do is indent the gather research, compile research and sample tasks to make this happen. To indent a task, click the task to select it, then go to the task tab under the ribbon. Click the indent task button located here to move the task to the right and indent it. Click the outdent button located here to move it to the left to outdent it. What we need to do is move these tasks by indenting them in. Tasks, or parent tasks as we've just created, can be broken down into subtasks, as we said in the last lesson. When you create subtasks, you're basically creating a hierarchy of tasks. For example, we entered create outline as a task. We may want to enter subtasks. These are tasks that will occur during the time frame of the create outline task and relate to the completion of the task. To insert a subtask, first we're going to click to select the task that we want to appear below the new subtask. When we create the subtask, in other words, it will appear above the task we selected. Right click on the task and choose insert task from the menu. You now see the new task. Click on the cell and start typing the name of the new task. Our subtask for create outline is named divide lessons. Now click the indent task button on the ribbon to indent the task and make it a subtask of create outline. When you create a parent task with subtasks, you've created a family of tasks. In project, this is called a phase. You can have as many phases as needed in a project. Most projects will not go according to plan. That's not necessarily a bad thing, but when it happens, you need to know how to adjust your plan as well as the information you have recorded in your project. This may mean that you need to move some tasks around. If you need to move a task further up or lower down on your outline, use the click and drag method and these steps. Go to the can chart view, as you can see here. Select the task you want to move by clicking on its ID number, so 1, 2, 3 or 4, etc. in the furthest column on the left. Click and release, so don't hold down the mouse button. Click on the dark border around the task row, as you can see here, or click on the ID number of the task. Hold the left mouse button down and drag the task to where you want it. A grey line will appear that shows the new task position. Let go of your mouse button to move the task. The WBS code, or Work Breakdown Structure Code, is simply a code that is applied to your outline of tasks that makes different elements of your project easier to identify. These codes are automatically generated for you, so that each task has a unique identity that is based on the order that appears in your project. Here's an example. The second task in the second phase of a project has a WBS code of 1.2.2. This means that the task belongs to the first phase, as all tasks do, is in the second phase, and is in the second task. To view the WBS code in your project, go to the Gantt chart view, as you can see here. Go to the Add New Columns column and click on the drop-down menu. 
Scroll down to the bottom and select WBS. You can see the WBS codes now appear in this column.